Well, today's the day. Today's the day that we're gonna change the pull type sprayer industry forever. And I'm pumped for it. This is gonna be sweet. So what we're doing right now is we're gonna be blasting out the boom to get clean water in there because they're gonna be working on this thing today. And we just want the, the boom to be clean so that no one has to work in any fertilizer, sticky fertilizer, or any triple flex chemical. So I maybe should rotate all these nozzle bodies so that it squirts out of each one. Eric, hey! Don't turn that boom on yet. I'm downwind, bud. Hey. Ooh, let's go to the big flood nozzles. Yeah. So nice. Oh, I was leaving the flutters on. But whatever. Whatever. I think it's getting new nozzles, so I'm guessing all these come off and either get capped or just ride with for the ride. But we'll see. We'll have to open up them. Are you ready to End change? Sections. You ready to go to the greatest setup ever? I think so. I'm. I'm. I really hope that I'm not let down by this because. Did they bring I'm out really another pumped. another kit for the other sprayer? I hope they do. Or the other two. I don't think they're gonna though. We're gonna have to probably end up putting that on. <laughs> Let's see what it does first. Yeah. We don't want to get too excited. I'm not gonna say it's great till. We get to see it in action. So right now, he filled this up from our groundwater tank. This is actually a 200 gallon rinse tank. So right here is the level of it, right there. He is sucking out of the rinse tank, going directly to booms, just blowing clean water through it, flushing her out. So I like this uh, option, which comes right from the factory instead of us adding valves to the end of these sections. Comes factory now with those valves so that you can just quick blow your boom out and you can get rid of any chemical past this point out of the boom so you don't get the eagle wing going on. Pretty nice having all them valves to adjust everything from the cap. Yeah. Last year you got to drive the one yeah. that you had to actually get out. Yeah. I talked about that already earlier this spring. <laughs> that was way too nice. <laughs> yeah, these are all out of Matic, so we can go from the rinse tank to the solution tank, the pump divider where it sucks from, boom, or to rinse this tank. All by bloop, no. from the cap. Our older, our first sprayer we owned came with this option, but it's a factory option to put these valves on or not. I wonder if we'll use this as much with the new inductors. Uh, what's the brand? I'm sure. Batco? What was it? It ain't a conveyor, is it? The Banjo. Batchmate 2.0. Yeah. Batchmate 2.0. Yeah, I don't know. These are nice to have. Yeah, I would never get one without one on. It's not that expensive an option. And we always have stuff. I'm right. sure we'll dump our additives in. Probably this. That and having booms are the three most important things. So you gotta have the booms. But most of them come with that. Most? Custom order might. That's an option to come with no boom? 
might be. Just a spreader sprayer. <laughs> just, <laughs> like a manure spreader. Yeah. Like a liquid hog manure spreader. Yeah, it, it could work. boxes of wiring harnesses Ooh, this is gonna be fun it might not be so much fun installing but it's gonna make it so much awesomer awesomer is that a word so much more awesomer look at the two airs working together oh my God. <laughs> a lot of wires and this would be more that's Scandinavian they don't lights and all that and then I don't know what that is. we're getting a lot done <laughs> So you just couldn't stay away, could you? Yeah, I know. I had to come back. <laughs> you just One missed morning. the camera. It's warm. You're getting better in front no, of the I'm camera. <laughs> I was actor just of the year in high school one year. <laughs> <laughs> was your graduation? Yeah, size? my graduation. Like six people? Seventeen. Oh. <laughs> Cheyenne. Oh. Garth Brooks sings about it. Have you heard of it? No. Beaches of Cheyenne. Oh yeah. That's yeah. Cheyenne, North Dakota. Still make Cheyenne, Cheyenne, North Dakota. I believe that's where it's at. Is this a true statement? Mm hmm. Well, in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a lot of cable. Wow. 120 feet of it. <clears throat> did, did someone say redesign? I don't know. What? Oh, yeah. So to get those modules on our. Uh, nozzle body here. We had to move our end valves for flushing out. Just twist them. So we're retrofitting. Retrofitting the brand new sprayer. Making it work. Making it work. Cannot even describe to you how excited I am about this setup. I'm glad you sounded more excited about my apparel. What? <laughs> Don't you remember talking about 400 miles an hour? Yeah. Yeah, that was like days ago. Did you guys check it out? The Come apparel? On. Big Sweet apparel? Yeah. There's some new Larson Farms merch on the site too. In the link in the description at right. Larson Farms. MN. So can it be a battle of let's wear more. I want to see my name on the t-shirts, not you. I'll tell you what. You'll be buying me a new t-shirt if you get that blue stuff <clears throat> on my nice green stuff. See, my shirts are blue, so this wouldn't matter. You can goop all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the conversations we have must just, people must just be like. You know, you can double click on the right side of the screen and fast forward like 10 seconds. You'll, no, don't tell them that. You'll save a lot of time. We need watch minutes. Well, they watch it just in high speed. High speed. They also can click in the corner right down there and they can hit the subscribe button. It's right on the screen, right on the main screen. Let's do that. Give it a thumbs up. Yep, that too. Man, they, they got a lot to do today. <laughs> so, the wind's picking up, of course. Uh, they are running this wiring harness on the other end of the sprayer, on the other boom. We're gonna put it on, fold it, make sure that we don't have no pinch points, so then we're gonna do this side the same exact way. But basically, this wiring harness runs the whole length of the boom, and each nozzle gets a wire going to it, to this little, nodule which i'm not sure the technical terms of it basically this pulsates the product we'll be getting a different nozzle that'll go on here and it will sit there and pulsate to keep the correct tip pressure and no matter what speed you go within reason so each nozzle can do up to one gallon per minute through this so 
72 nozzles on here, it can do 72 gallons per minute through the boom, which is moving. That's a lot. That is a lot. So basically we're just trying to watch, make sure no wires get pinched off. Right, Duggo? We right. need to pinch some wires. Well, there'd only take a few hundred uh, butt connectors. <laughs> the size of that harness, that's for sure. You want me to cut the last zip tie? For today. Last zip tie for today. Done. You want me to pick it up too? I don't care what you do. Right. Let the water wash it down into the ditch. Or something. Oh my gosh. So we got a new power cable from the battery to the back of the tractor. New harness from back of the tractor to the back of the sprayer to new control box to each individual sprayer nozzle. That makes sense? Yeah, that's what we got going. So, I think we're ready to test fire. Let's see if the guys should be ready to go, I think. Get the monitor set up. So, I think we can go up to 30 percent. So I did, I, we can do that. Okay, we think it's 30 percent over. I think that's what the max is. I don't, how much, do you know how much percentage over you want behind your tracks? It's always one nozzle size larger is what we've done. Like in 06, you'd run the old 07 or 08. Or... So here we just do a percentage of amount right. of over so I guess we could do the, try to do the math and yeah 15, we can 10, 15, we can look at a T jet later and change 40. it if we yeah can you can change it anytime you want okay. so what they were saying there and talking about is right behind our sprayer tracks we normally put bigger uh, nozzles in just because the dust there we need to over apply a little bit because a lot of it don't even hit the ground because of the dust it gets just gets carried away so they can adjust four nozzles behind the sprayer up a percentage, so we need to decide which percentage equals the next nozzle size bigger, if that makes sense. So, we're planning on doing that again. So that's all controlled through the screen in the tractor. Last time I did this, I got a lot of crap. Where do you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> that's because it's the minute that the camera comes out, he gets red in the face and gets yeah, nervous. Yeah, he gets red in the face. Norwegian <laughs> doesn't know how to control himself. Norwegian. <laughs> yeah, so, we got it. It's working. It's up and running. What is the benefits of this rather than just what it used to be? Yeah, the benefits of this is it's pulse width modulated spraying, so you're pulsing the spray pattern, so you can do a lot of things like turn compensation. You can do... So the turn compensation is if you're going around a curve or a corner, the outside of the boom will actually speed up the pulsing to allow more product there. Yep and the inside of the boom where it's going slower will slow down the pulsing so you're not over applying or under applying. Yep, turn compensation, obviously drift control, mm -hmm. right? So you can change, basically you're changing the droplet size. Yeah, the, the speed for the nozzle, what was that? For a 0.08 nozzle size was five miles an hour to 16 miles an hour at 40 pounds? 40 PSI. 40 PSI tip pressure. So your range, that's where we were. I was sized for about 14 miles an hour. And then we were just out of the corners, wide open, trying to get up the speed to get our nozzles to open up where this will pulsate to allow that not to be a issue anymore. Yeah, we're like an eight to one speed range now before you were just basically a two or three to one speed range. So yeah. that's gotta be the biggest thing for me and, and to keep to the pressure where I want it switching the tips all the time based yep. on your chemical or application yeah yep sweet love you to test drive it and see how you like it oh we'll like it <laughs> I would imagine it'll be awesome to see what this thing can do and yeah. you can get this product through through Underfirth and through Raven okay. so yep. okay so this is the latest and greatest Raven Hawkeye system that is correct yep Sweet. All right, well, let's see it in action. So the big Swede's gonna fire it up here and we're gonna see this thing in action. I think the sun right there, I think that'll be a pretty nice shot.
this nozzle and the two behind the other track are set right now at 15% more applying rather than this one or any of the other ones on the boom because of the dust like I was explaining all controlled from the computer in the cab that controls this thing and this thing it knows which nozzle body this is remember if this is 33 and 34 I'm not sure on the number but you can control it that way you can control actually any one of them for I don't know why you'd want to over apply out here but you can if you want to which is pretty cool but I'm super excited about this. It's going to be a huge game changer, in my opinion, to the pull type sprayer. I think this has been out for a while. I just didn't know about it. So this is uh, the latest and greatest, and it's going to change the pull type sprayer big time. I really like it. I like it. The big self-propelleds have had this for quite a while, and John Deere's exact apply is comparable to that. I'm excited to see this thing in the field in a nice sunsetty night. It's gonna be sweet. Hey, you know what? I forgot to say goodbye to you guys last night. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. I want to also give out a huge thanks to Umberfirth and Raven for coming out and setting this thing up. I think it's gonna be sweet, and I hope you guys are excited to see this thing in action as I am when uh, post emerge spring is going. Anyways, see you guys next time.